I'm Lizzie Daly. I'm a marine biologist. I'm wild about nature and I absolutely love sharks. I really love them. That was absolutely amazing. And I'm on a mission to get up close and personal with as many sharks as I can. So good to see these animals so close. They never get boring. I'm excited to see this. To this day, for many people, the word shark alone is enough to bring about fear and anxiety. I'm about to go cage diving with bull sharks. There's about seven or eight bull sharks here already. I cannot wait, although I feel a little bit, I don't know, out of place. It's a busy dock, there's tourists about, there's boats whizzing in and out. I want to explore how our relationship with sharks is changing. I'm on the island of Bimini on the northwest tip of the Great Bahama Bank. In 2011, the Bahama Shark Sanctuary was created. 650,000 square kilometers of protected waters. The result? Sharks have taken over. There's two females. Females are typically larger than males, so they're fairly easy to spot. This is the only place in the world offering a shark experience like this. I can't wait to see them in action. This will be my first time in the water with them. <laughs> and bring it on, I say. Once in the water, I get a really good look. These are big, powerful sharks, and they have a bit of a reputation. To some, they're considered to be the most dangerous shark species in the world. They have even been known to headbutt their prey before attacking. I'm relieved there's a cage between myself and these huge predators, especially while they're being fed. Just as my time with the bull sharks was coming to an end, I noticed that one of them had a hook caught in its mouth. It's not an unusual sight to see here, and it's a reminder of the impact the fishing industry has on marine life. Even huge sharks such as these need our protection. Absolutely amazing. You could see its eyes, you could see its dermal ventricles. Incredible. If I could, I would do that every day. With my appetite thoroughly fired up, I set off to the island of Grand Bahama to meet Christina Zanato. Christina has been diving with sharks for decades and has dedicated her life to conservation, striving to educate the world about the true nature of these species. As a biologist, I'm really intrigued to see how she has this understanding of their behaviour and how our relationship with sharks and how sharks here in the Caribbean are changing. Christina has removed more than her fair share of hooks from the mouths of sharks. And she's known for her totally one-off relationship with the Caribbean reef sharks of these waters. On dives like the one we'll be doing today with Christina, she has a chainmail suit she wears. I wear a chain suit only when I bring down food and I'm going to be physically handling the sharks. It's also respect towards the nature of the animals. Although Christina is suited up, I'll be heading down there without her level of protection, which I'm slightly apprehensive about, as this is my first time face-to-face -face with sharks of this size. I will be feeding and wearing the chamber, and you will be five feet from me, and you will not be wearing the chamber because the sharks will know who has the food and who doesn't. With that reassurance from Christina, it's time to get in the water. It wasn't long before I was totally surrounded by sharks. And soon enough, I was able to see just why Christina is known as the Shark Whisperer. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Truly mind-blowing. Oh 
Oh my gosh, that was absolutely amazing. It was amazing to see how, just how Christina worked with the sharks and how that relationship underwater is so just interesting to watch. And even when you just look at the sharks, you can see every little detail of them. They felt incredible. I cannot explain my excitement for that. That was absolutely awesome. Not a day that I'll be forgetting anytime soon. There was only one thing left to do. So this morning, we're going out to dive with the great hammerhead, the largest species of hammerhead that there is. There's nowhere else in the world where you can come face to face with this predator in this way. Large, increasingly rare, and generally solitary animals. Giant hammerheads are normally very difficult to find. But lucky for me, that's not the case here. I'm so hoping we'll see some today. But all we can do is go in and wait. So into the water, full of adrenaline and ready to catch my first sighting. Suddenly, through the sea of nurse sharks, there it was. My first great hammerhead. What an unbelievable sight. I was given a short pole to let the sharks know not to come too close. But that was all I was equipped with in the water. Sadly, this shark is listed as endangered due to a number of issues including the fishing industry. And the numbers have decreased by 80% in the last 25 years. The experience of being in the water with these huge creatures is hard to describe. Watching them feeding showed me just how quickly they can move and there were plenty of currents pushing me about, which definitely amped up the experience. So we've just come up from the hammerhead dive. Absolutely incredible. They never get boring. So good to see these animals so close and couldn't think of a better way to finish my time here in Bimini. The environment here in the Bahamas provides a unique opportunity to preserve shark populations before it's too late. This is one of the few places in the world where sharks are thriving. I've learned so much since being here in the Bahamas. From the research underpinning their protection, to the inspiring people who work with these incredible predators. I've loved being able to get so close to these truly majestic and misunderstood predators. Unquestionably, we should be doing everything we can to protect these awe-inspiring creatures.